Hello, my friends. Welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie, and if you are new here, hey, welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing for lots more diamond painting content. And if you are back, welcome back. Today, I am here with a really, really exciting and cool sneak peek unboxing from Diamond Art Studio UK. So thank you so much to Diamond Art Studio UK for sending this over for me to share with you guys. This is something that is brand new to them and I feel like is incredibly unique in sort of the diamond painting space in general. But this is an advent calendar kit that has a twist on it that I am just I cannot wait to get into it with you guys it's gonna be so cool now um I have completed a kit from Diamond Art Studio UK. You may have seen it here on the channel. It was an incredible kit called Outside the Sweet Shop with over, uh, it had around 200 colors, I believe, by the artist Hel Corio and was just gorgeous and incredible to work on. And I was completely sold on their quality and everything from the get-go. And um, when they reached out to me and let me know that they had this in the works and it's been in the works for months, years at this point, I was all about it and there's some really special things in here that are going to point back to some other things i've worked on on my channel in the past that hopefully will make you guys really excited too so anyway they mailed this over yes they're obviously located in the uk uh, but when they ship internationally it does come pretty quickly so you have a couple of pieces to this here i'm going to go ahead and we're going to get into let's open up the box and then uh, we'll get into the purple box next so they always wrap it up carefully. Here's some info about Diamond Art Studio UK. Um, they do have a Facebook page here that is a helpful resource and good to follow along with for updates and whatnot. And then let's wrap, let's get into this like it's a Christmas gift, which is very apt given our, our subject matter here. So let's see. I believe what's going to be in here is our canvas and drills and then we have something else really important in this little purple box we're going to start with this so they have branded boxes here there's their website and their socials and whatnot and then here we go you guys studio christmas design version one so this is just you know leaving them open to if they do future future concepts like this one um so like i said they've been working on this for quite a long time do you see what i see oh my gosh uh they started planning this well in concept i think a couple years back and uh they've they've partnered with uh rebecca from add more zest who has a a small shop and has a youtube channel and uh, i'll make sure I, I link to hers as well they've done some really cool advent and project things with her in the past and then this year decided okay we're going to do this we want to do this really cool advent concept so what i have here okay you're getting a little sneak peek there in the background but let me show you what's been included here with the toolkit real quick and we have this nice kind of burlap bag in purple. That's really their kind of signature color is purple. So you've got all your basics, you guys. You've got a pen and a squishy and some tweezers and some wax and a tray and a couple of thin plastic multi-placers as well. Frankly, I know that's the toolkit's not what you're here for, but I want to make sure you see it. But here's what we've got going on here, you guys. Yes, this is intentionally blank. Do you know why yet? <laughs> Do you know why yet? <laughs> so how can you take an advent and a diamond painting and make it a mystery in the most like purely mysterious form? How can you make it truly a mystery? Not just black and white symbols on a canvas. How about a blank canvas? You guys, their advent is a cross stitch conversion style project and I'm so here for it. I'm so incredibly stoked. So um, everything that you're seeing right now, I guess technically some of this is a little bit in the way of spoilers, but I will tell you that I am, um, I'm not going to be showing you the individual patterns for a number of different reasons, which I'll get into in a little bit. But um, the extent of the spoilers that you're going to see, at least if, if I show you anything that's really spoilery, I'll give you a huge warning and it'll be at the end. Um, but I'm going to show you the colors of the diamonds. I'm going to show you some of the symbols and there's a sample in here that's going to let us get a look and let me explain what this concept is a little bit more clearly. But otherwise, this is going to stay a surprise. I'm not going to ruin anything for you. But you know, I am going to show you the drill colors. Um, 
as well as the you know the symbols here you see the dmc's here so uh, we do have a large sticker sheet uh so this is it's the diamond art studio uk the christmas design version one um they worked and and designed all of this themselves um and i'll explain more about kind of the different styles and the you know, themes they were going for and stuff as we get further into it um this is just kind of the basics of what's coming with your with your kit and your packaging uh, this is a set of pre-cut sticker labels so you can label your diamonds if you like we're gonna have 37 total colors including four ab's and i believe that yeah these outlines that you see um th those are going to be ab's as well and i'll explain that more in just a bit so hang in there if you're confused I'm gonna explain it, okay? I promise we'll get there. So, so hang in there with me. I'm gonna. I have lots of things to explain that are hopefully gonna help this make a lot more sense. So, here's all of our DMC colors. Lots of purples. Not shocking. Um, for sake of, well, let me let me show you at least the ABs. So, you guys, these are gonna be the colors for your entire project, not just for each day's square. This is for your whole project, so you can kit these up if you want to and then that'll just be what you'll need for for the entirety of the advent we have lots and lots of this these purple colors the dmc code is printed on there 209 is the dmc code for this one 210 lots of purples we're just going to take a really fast look at these colors because i want to get into these charts and explain a little bit more to you guys about what's going on with this project so that you can understand and I could tell you more about like, when's it gonna be released? What are all the details? I promise I have that for you, but just really quick with these colors. Reds, oranges. My apologies for my hoarse voice, by the way. I do have a, I have a cough drop in that's hopefully not driving anyone crazy. So we do have lots of colors going on here. And that includes, like I said, here at the end in particular. Okay, here we go some whites and yellows here's our we have some ab colors now ab diamonds have a special coating on the top that makes them super sparkly which feels extra apt given that this is a christmas slash advent kit we're gonna have four different colors we have the the yellow the pur darker purple a red and then three bags of this white ab those are just gonna stand out from the regular drill colors so the canvas itself so we do have their branding and the really high quality materials here. Uh, the canvas material, it's got kind of like the soft lint, short lint backing. We have the poured glue that of course we're used to from Diamond Art Studio UK that's pretty, pretty darn sticky. And we have a blank canvas, no symbol clarity to speak of except for these which serve as an outline to help, help you see exactly how this is gonna be sectioned off. So we do have a little, a legend over here on the side. This is a 45 by 50 canvas. And our legend, here's their socials. And this is designed by the Darwin Art Studio team. So it was done in house. We have the same legend up here at the top right. Um, and otherwise, everything that Diamond Art Studio UK carries is legally licensed uh, from the artists. So, um, but this, in this case, they did design everything in-house. I actually talked to them a little bit about the process of it, and they were saying that it was kind of back in, in January of this year, they thought, okay, we want to go with the festive theme. Let's just make this whole big list of, okay, what kinds of different things are, you know, just we sort of think of as being festive. Then they went through a really long process of designing and coming up with and sketches and everything uh, to come up with the different designs that are going to be in this. Now, because this is an advent calendar, uh, that means that each one of these designs is gonna be for a different day in the month of December You guys are just getting a nice early Look at what's going what's gonna be in this kit so that if you want to place an order you certainly have time to do so um, Let me open this up and show you more about this I promise I'm gonna show you details about what share details about when this is gonna be available when you can buy it And all the other details. I'm just Right, I should have grabbed my tweezers. What I really should have grabbed. Let me <laughs> feel bad. I'm just completely destroying this box because uh, my scissors are, are failing me a little bit. Okay, here we go. Eh. Look, I want to get in here. But I also don't want to slice my finger off. <laughs> okay, so again, this box you'll get both the box that has like the canvas and diamonds in it, and then this box which has the mini charts. We're gonna open it up. The inside of the box is going to explain to you what this concept is. So you have a set of envelopes in here. We have the example envelope on top, which I'll show you in just a bit. And then 
we have envelopes that say Advent day one, day two, day three, so on and so forth, all the way on to number 25. Just like a traditional Advent calendar, it's the month of December and ends on Christmas, December 25th. Now, so each of these envelopes contains a chart. Your canvas, which we have here, they're calling them their doors, outlined with pre-printed symbols. That's what these, these little arrows that we see are. They've provided an outline for you to just give you that additional guidance for when you're looking at a chart and saying, okay, this is this door. Now, all these doors are the same exact size. Um, and so, you know, you don't have to worry about, okay, like day one has to go in the top left corner or whatnot. Um, they say here, we charted in the following order, but they are interchangeable. So if you want to do it in order, you absolutely can. So you're kind of seeing it come to life, you know, left to right and, and on down through the rows. But if you're like, you know, I just want to just kind of go free range, go wild. I'm going to start with number one in the middle or, you know, end with the 25th in the middle or, you know, make patterns with it and going around with the doors and, and sections around the edges first or something you can do that it has been designed in such a way that they are all the same size door or box so um, what you're going to do is you're going to select any door on the canvas and fill it in by using the pattern on the chart so when you open this up you can go okay here's my chart i'll show you i will show you and this is the square i want to do it in or this is the door that i want to do it in each chart is the same size and will fit in any of the doors. And again, here's how they charted it. Now, this is really important, you guys. Just a couple of quick spoiler-related and etiquette things. So they are asking that you do not share the completed stages, like the completed doors, on social media until after the respective day of Advent. So please don't share door one on until it's after December 1st, like on December 2nd. Or later now on their Facebook page and their fa on their yeah on their Facebook they are gonna create a daily post where you can share your progress as you're working on the doors like on that day so that is totally an option but this is you know like any mystery kit it can be nice it can just be a nice courtesy to put something like this behind a spoiler slide for anyone that doesn't want to have it revealed to them um, another thing I want to know is that um, general practice when it comes to cross stitch charts is not to show the chart itself on social media. Um, now, Diamond Art Studio UK has said, you know, like, you know, we're, we're kind of like, we're, it's okay, but um, just, I wouldn't just post a picture of the chart because then people could technically just copy the chart without having paid for the kit and paid for, <laughs> for the work that's gone into it. However, this really, really cool idea that and an intention that Diamond Art Studio UK has is that you could take these charts and, you know, hold on to them, not just use them on the canvas, but you could also use them to make a Christmas card or a holiday card or an ornament or something like that. So you can still use that for yourself. Now, I want to be totally clear. I have their full permission. And in fact, something, you know, they would like for me to do is to share with you guys what this example is and potentially a day or two of the charts in here. And I just want to be clear that while kind of the courtesy is, especially because license, uh, because cross stitch charts are considered licensed artwork and you're not really supposed to share those on, you know, in, in the public because that's considered, you know, option for people to steal. Um, I want to be clear that from the designer, I have permission and, and have been asked to do this. So the example envelope, let me open this up. We're going to take a look at the pattern that's in here and I'll be able to kind of describe to you exactly what's what's going on in here. So you're going to open up your envelope. This is going to be the case for any of these days that you open. Inside the envelope is just going to be this little chart. It's going to have your color list over here on the left, which is going to match the same color list that's on the canvas itself. So I've got my little square here and it's got the symbols here. Now this says Advent Day 8. I don't know if the pattern here is actually going to be Advent Day 8. So just to be safe, I'm going to leave these samples, these example stickers on here covering this up. Just to play it totally safe, but I can still show you this and explain what you're going to do. So I'm going to take this and if I, let's say this is, you know, let's say it's not Advent Day. This is day one or, you know, I've decided, okay, I'm going to put this up here. This is where I want this to go. And it's going to fit. Let me see. Yeah. So it's going to fit within the border 
of this outline. And so it's gonna fit precisely. I'm trying to show you how it's been charted so you can see that it, it does fit exactly within those borders. Like there's the leftmost edge, here's the rightmost edge, and it lines up exactly with these. And so if you've never worked on a cross-stitch conversion chart before, this is something that is very different from a traditional diamond painting. Um, but this is a chart, and what you're going to do is you're going to read this chart and count and place these diamonds. So if this is the top upper left, this is the upper leftmost corner right here is the number one. The number one is gonna go right there and not that top left corner. Um, not over these arrow symbols. That's just gonna be an outline of, of this, this AB. This chart begins on the blank square in the top left. And so I'm gonna, I'm gonna count how many of this symbol I'm supposed to place, which in this case happens to be the whole top row here underneath those arrows. But then below it, you know, when I get to, by the time I get to the second row, it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm only gonna place seven of this number one symbol, and I'm gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then there's gonna be the check mark symbol, and then I'm gonna place the check mark symbol, and so on and so forth. What I'm probably gonna do is grab a, a highlighter or a Sharpie or something like that, and as I place diamonds on here, I'm gonna mark this off so that it's clear like, okay, I've placed these. So I can kind of keep up with, with my place uh, that way. Um, I actually think this could be a really good introduction to the concept of a cross-stitch conversion project because it's so small scale. Each of these squares that you're doing is, is very small and manageable. It's not like you're looking at a huge chart that you have to do all at once. It's just, okay, here's a square, here's a square that I want to go, to go in there. And, um, and there are other things you could probably do to sort of grid this off if you wanted to. Like you could, you know, mark off every five or every 10 and make a line both on your chart and on the canvas, which is what I've done with my cross-stitch conversion projects. I do have a playlist dedicated to a couple of different cross-stitch conversion projects I've worked on in the past. And I talk a lot about my approach and how to do them and just sort of how to help your brain get in the swing of doing a project like this, which is very different from a traditional diamond painting, but it's really fun. <laughs> it's a really fun challenge. Um, and I love the idea of just doing one of these a day and knowing it's gonna be really on theme throughout the month of December. Uh, so those are some of the best suggestions that I have for you. I would also encourage you to like, if this is your first time tackling a project like this, embrace that it's gonna take a little bit to get the hang of it. Don't get too mad or frustrated with yourself. Just go, okay, I'm gonna learn. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I'll get the hang of it. I'll get the hang of it. Highly, highly recommend that after, after you've placed, um, you know, diamonds on the canvas, find some way to mark it off on the chart so that you're able to kind of keep your place. Maybe I won't, I won't use a Sharpie because I want to be able to reuse these patterns for something later. Like I mentioned, like a Christmas card or an ornament. Um, maybe I'll use a highlighter or something like that. Or maybe I'll make a copy of this. I'll find something to do. Uh, to my knowledge, okay, so this is my, my lack of cross-stitch knowledge showing here. I don't know if you could scan these and use them in an app like Pattern Keeper or Markup um, RxP or something like that. There's a couple of different apps where you can track cross-stitch patterns and track your progress and whatnot. I am not sure. I think maybe you could scan it in, but you know, if you're a beginner and this is the first time you're kind of tackling a cross-stitch conversion project, you're probably not gonna be investing in an app or a tablet or something like that just for something like this. But you know, that is an option if you do decide to do cross-stitch conversion projects more long-term, you know, maybe consider investing in something like that. So we do have, there's 25 envelopes here and <laughs> each of them has a different pattern in it, but they all kind of are going to fit sort of the theme of, like I said, festive. And it's all been designed and sketched and charted and everything by the Diamond Art Studio UK team. So let me give you some more details about what's what's going on and how this is going to work. So um, there's going to be a short, there's a short pre-order window that's opening up on Monday, October 2nd at 4 p.m. UK time. 
And I, I'm going to pop up on the screen here what time that is and like Pacific time and Eastern time, because I know most of, most of you guys, if you're watching this are likely located in the U S so I'll pop that up on the screen as well as put it in the description box. Um, and the pre-order is going to be open for a short time. I don't, I don't remember what's, what day they said it may close, but just know that they already have a ton of these, like a ton on the way because they're anticipating it is going to be very popular because it is a very unique and fun concept. The reason they're doing the pre-order really is to see, okay, do we need to go ahead and rush order another batch that's going to be in, in order for us to be able to then turn around and ship these out and have them in people's hands by December 1st. However, the first round of these kits they're anticipating are going to arrive in their hands in October and they'll begin shipping them out right away. So um, I'm guessing there, there'll be you know a pre-order window, but then they'll also go up for sale on the website depending on stock and availability. The best suggestion I have for you guys is to follow them on Facebook um, and that'll be where they'll post the most up-to-date information because this is kind of it's unprecedented. They're doing the best they can to gauge, you know, what interest is going to be and, and how much they should order and stuff like that. But you know, they've been, they've been surprised before in a good way. So uh, that's the best suggestion I have for you. This is just kind of what they're thinking and hoping that it's going to look like. Now the cost for this, um, again, since most of you are in the U S it's, it's going to shake out to around $60 U S dollars. And, uh, I mean, you're really, you're paying for an experience. It's, it's an advent calendar. You're paying for the design that went into it. And there was a lot of time and, and a lot that went into the production end of things, even just like they've been the ones stuffing the envelopes and get everything packaged up for you. So, um, that's the price point. And even, you know, that for a licensed piece, that's 45 by 50 centimeters. That's, that's not high, really. That's, that's not out, out um, that's that's not unusual, I would say. Uh, so that's that's the general price point in U.S. dollars. Um, I really think I really think that was that was about it. I think we've covered about everything. So yeah, this is a an advent calendar kind of experience, a holiday experience that they really wanted to see. How can we make this a true mystery? How can we make this something that um, you don't know exactly what you're going to be working on? It's going to be revealed to you a bit at a time. And even as you as you pull out the chart seats each day to look at them, you're not some of them you will recognize right away what the pattern is and go, oh, this is going to be you know, this object or this thing. Uh, but other times you won't necessarily know because it is just in black and white. And sometimes your eye makes out patterns, but sometimes, you know, you aren't hundred percent sure. So I, I love a mystery kit and I love the idea of kind of a mystery advent and, and cross stitch conversion style project. And I'm intrigued by this. I love that they're trying something that's really new and hasn't been done before. And, um, I don't know about you guys. I'm just generally a sucker for an advent calendar. <laughs> and, and so I'm excited to work on this. I'm, I am planning to work on it, um, during, you know, December and maybe a square a day, or maybe I'll, maybe I'll work on it a little bit ahead of time. We'll see. But of course I'm going to follow the rules that they have asked for everyone to follow, which is not to reveal any completed squares before, um, until after the actual advent day that they've been assigned to. So, you guys, I am stoked. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are. Um, I'm going to link, of course, to a lot of helpful things in the description box of this video. I'm going to link to the Diamond Art Studio UK Facebook page, which is a fantastic resource and I feel like the best way to stay up to date with their um, the latest info. Um, I'll link to their website. So like I said, they're planning for this to go on sale on Monday, October 2nd uh, for the pre-order at 4 p.m. And I'm guessing that there'll be a regular sale that goes up kind of after that point, after they've had the chance to gauge, okay, this is what the interest level is. I would recommend if this is something you want to get your hands on, go ahead and hop right on there when the pre-order opens. I do believe, I do believe, and I will add a correction in the description box if I am wrong about this, that if you're like me and you live in the States and international shipping from the UK can be high. Um, it is kind of a flat rate and is I found really reasonable if you're ordering multiple kits. And so I know they shipped this one to me along with another actual like just regular kit from their shop. So I think that if you wanted to order another kit in addition to the advent, you could, but I'm guessing that none of it is going to ship until it's all in stock, including the advent. So just keep that much in mind. They're a small shop, you guys. They're not a huge operation. Uh, so just know that they're they're doing the best that they can. And um, 
I had a really positive experience with, with them and the kit that I worked on and completed from them. And I'm, you know, I've just been really happy with their customer service and quality across the board and uh, especially for a small shop. So anyway, let me know if you have any questions. I will add any other updates and, and info that I get in the description box of this video. And I'll try to keep it a, an eye on comments as well. But I'm excited. I cannot, cannot wait. And I, I, I'm so excited to see this be revealed as we go. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed getting to see one of the fun things that's coming, coming to the diamond painting world this holiday season. Thanks again to Diamond Art Studio UK for sending this over for me to share and kind of sneak peek with you guys ahead of ahead of the release. There are a couple other creators that I know did sneak peeks as well. I think based in the UK, that they're based in the UK and they may have some more, you know, a different perspective and stuff. So definitely go and check those out if you want to hear someone else talk about this too. Uh, but yeah, anyway, I'm gonna let you go. Feel free to subscribe if you want to stay up to date with this project and all my other diamond painting goodness I've got going on here. I'd love to have you. And I hope you have a day that is as amazing as you are. I'll chat with you in the next one. Bye.